Hi folks, this is a quick video on the Zytronix uh, 46 DLX fume extractor. Um, it's uh, pretty much essential to have one of these nowadays if you're doing a lot of solder, especially if you're using uh, lead based solder uh, to get rid of the nasty fumes. And uh, my previous uh, fume extractor, which I think I got from Maplin's, uh, failed quite a while ago, so I just thought I'd get another one to replace it. So, yeah, I'll just give you a quick overview. Uh, illuminated uh, rocker switch on the front and then on the front we've got this a coarse grill uh, you, know, you know quite big apertures on it obviously to get maximum air airflow through the front uh, so this this grill is held by two tabs which slot into the side uh, I should say it is all metal construction this item and uh, to remove the uh, grill and the filter you just uh, pull up in the, the middle uh, while sliding it to one side and that'll allow you to remove the filter and this exposes this uh, fan which is uh, an alloy uh, body uh, mains powered fan the filters yeah about uh, 13 centimeters square about a centimeter thick uh, and you know they're quite easy to come by uh, you know replacements <clears throat> um, to the uh, sorry to replace the the grill we simply insert one side into the slot apply pressure in the other tab while it's pulling up gently in the middle and that uh, secures it nice and snug and uh, gives it that seal so it's uh, you know maximum uh, filtration as it's drawing the fumes through uh, onto the back um, we've got an IEC connector with a, a 0.3 amp uh, fast blow fuse and a, a ground uh, grounding point which accepts, if I just get one, a standard 4mm uh, banana plug. Um, yeah, there's some labels on there, electrical safety, RS component appliance, whatever. Yeah, um, this is, if you, you may have heard me talking about isopropyl alcohol in my previous uh, video for cleaning stuff. I did give this a clean up and it's uh, slightly uh, affected the paint work but you know it doesn't matter so the um, actual way it works in fact if we plug it in I'll give you a quick demonstration that's already on so hopefully it's not too loud and drown out my voice although you may maybe be pleased that it's drown out my voice <laughs> but uh, yeah all it does is uh, it sucks up you know as the fumes rise they're sucked into the fan uh, brought through the filter and then uh, expelled through the top of the unit so up and away from, from your work area so hopefully you'll be able to see this working I'll just uh, clean my iron and I'll just tin these uh, tin these pads and you should be able to see the, the smoke there just going straight in the front of the unit and there's no smoke coming back out at the, the top of the unit so yeah, fairly effective. Yep. Okay, dokes. I'll just turn the unit off. Now, this item uh, you can purchase um, from RS Components, and um, if I just uh, bring that up on my phone, or my other phone, I should say, um, hopefully, you should be able to see that. There we go. So less price than that from RS Components or Radio Spares. Uh, seventy-seven pounds seventy-six pence, and including the VAT, that takes it up to ninety-three thirty-one. I um, I purchased this on Gumtree from somebody that was getting rid of from some uh, watch shop equipment for ten pounds, just ten pounds. So ten percent of the cost, and it's obviously in fairly good condition, other than where I've messed up the the paintwork but yeah i thought that might be uh, of use to someone uh, yeah ideal uh, for for sort of light work like i do and uh, pretty much essential if you're doing solder and using lead based solder um yeah if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up and uh, i'll see you soon cheers